Hey, what's good with the Black Goose TV family? Look, I'm going to start off right away with a disclaimer. And that disclaimer is going to be like, y'all know I be doing the best to try to avoid the goofy shit. I be doing the best I can, man. I be like, look, goofy shit, I'm going to go ahead and swerve on this joint. But lately, when it comes to boxing, it's almost like you just can't swerve it because, I don't know, man, I guess blame the YouTube boxing scene where now we got exhibition fights like every other two months. With names that shouldn't even be up in there. Um, Legends is coming back. You see Jake Paul. This nigga, like, I, like you know what I'm saying? Like, like you, if you if, if you a boxing channel and you're not necessarily reporting the next fight or what fight potentially is gonna happen for Jake Paul, it's almost like you look like that's boxing, fam. I know you don't want to support that goofy shit, but that's boxing, and it's like, it's I don't know. I don't know what's going on, man. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what this is going to end up leading to in the future but as of right now this goofy ass shit for boxing it's rearing its ugly head it's in full force mode it's coming head on and it's like yo we can't avoid it so um y'all probably gonna hate this video y'all probably gonna love it whatever the case may be i'm only making this shit because i want to see what y'all think about it okay y'all already know how i feel about it goofy shit i'm gonna watch it I ain't going to cap and be like, oh, I'm not going to watch this joint. I'm going to watch this joint because I'm just going to be like, okay, either this is going to be really goofy where I can laugh my ass off or I'm going to be utterly surprised, which I doubt. But I'm going to watch it, okay? I'm not going to cap and say, I ain't going to watch this shit. It's ruining the sport of boxing. I'm not going to go that far. I will watch it, but I'm also going to say it's goofy. So with that being said, Black Goose TV family, what do y'all think about this, man? If y'all come up in here, man, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel, notification game, comment all day, especially for this one. Really comment on this joint because I want to know what y'all think. But y'all see it here, man. NFL stars, Adrian Peterson. And Adrian Peterson isn't even a star, bro. He's a legend of the fucking sport. And Le'Veon Bell, who I would definitely say is a star, um, they signed an exhibition, excuse me, exhibition boxing match. And they will fight on July 30th in LA. Now, if you guys don't know, where this is coming from, like, yo, they just gonna have a card centered around them. No, this is the same card. It's the, it's the like the social media boxing card. Like, I don't know who else is gonna be on it. I do know Blueface and Nick Young fighting on it. I know DDG versus PNB Rock was supposed to fight, but apparently they got canceled. That's all I know of when it comes to this. But apparently, this is another thing that's been asked, uh, uh, added to it. Now I'm gonna tell y'all right now. Like I said before, shit goofy to me. All this shit is goofy, nigga. This is, this is not boxing. You shouldn't even call it boxing. You should just call it. We throwing two dudes in there with a name, um, with gloves on. And they're going to do the best they can. That's what it should be called. It's definitely not boxing. But even with that being said, I will not cap. I'm going to watch this. I'm going to watch the Blue Face versus Nick Young shit. I'm going to be watching Adrian Peterson versus Le'Veon Bell. So I'm 100% in on, you know, me watching it. Y'all won't be getting my money now, nigga. I'm going to say this here right now. Like, you know, nigga, I'm going to be watching that shit for free. You know what I'm saying? No matter how I got to get it, I'm going to get it for free. That's a fact. I'm not going to pay no money for this goofy shit. But I'll be watching it definitely. Probably Fluence Lounge for it. So what do y'all think about this? Here? Just some bullshit, man. I'm not really, I'm not going to spend too much time on this goofy shit, man. But uh, let's just figure out the details of this. So um, uh, the veteran ball carriers will now look to prove who's better in a boxing ring when they square off in an exhibition match. Peterson and Bellwell have signed a contract to fight in five. Five? What the hell? Is that how much uh, Frank Gore and Darren Williams did? I thought they only did three. Three or four. I'm like, five too many rounds? Nigga, that's a... The plan is to use 12-ounce gloves for the showcase, which will take place July 30th at Crypto Arena. Uh, the matchup would be one of the marquee attractions, providing chief support to the pay-per-view featuring Austin McBroom and Gibb. I don't care about none of that shit. Um, former NBA star Nick Young is also scheduled to fight. That's what I was talking about. Rapper Blueface and what would likely be an exhibition might uh, about as well. Peterson, 37. Bell, 30. Were once bona fide stars and fantasy football darlings who are now in the twilight of their NFL career, bouncing around teams. Don't disrespect Peterson like that. Both of them are beasts, but Peterson and Bell shouldn't even be talked about in the same sentence as far as their NFL career. So... That's all we got. I'm assuming there's not going to be headgear if they're using 12 ounce uh, gloves. It's probably going to be similar to the Darren Williams Frank Gore situation. Um, yeah. So what do you guys think about this, man? This is bullshit to me, though. Complete bullshit. I will say this though. Um, um, who 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 do I think is going to win this fight? I don't know because I got to see what they look like actually even holding gloves up because you know. Um, uh, Adrian, uh, Adrian Peterson, man, he has a lot of muscle mass. So I don't know how that would necessarily translate to the ring for him. And then Le'Veon Bell, um, you know, I don't know nothing when it comes to him, if he's ever even thrown a punch in his life, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I don't know why, even though I think Peter Peterson obviously was the much, much better, uh, uh career wise, but they were both beasts though. But, um, I don't know. For some reason, I'm just leaning toward Le'Veon. He's 30 years old. 
nigga's not even out of his prime yet, so he's still a young motherfucker. Uh, uh, I don't even understand why this. I'm not even gonna guess. This is some bullshit. This is goofy. This is goofy. I'm gonna watch it, but it's goofy. Let me know what y'all think about this Black Goose TV family, man. Uh, who y'all got winning? How you feel about this shit? If y'all gonna watch it, if it's bad for boxing, if it's good for boxing, if it doesn't even matter, let me know. Drop it in the comments below. Much love to the people as always, man. On the side of the game, I'll be back with more boxing. Much love.